Hey guys, welcome back to the shop once again. Today we're gonna to show you how to change out your power steering pump pulley on this Ford C3 pumps. That's this design right here. It's a much smaller design uh, that Ford uses, whereas the old C2 pumps were big and they had a big old plastic reservoir on the backside. What we're gonna show you today is how to remove the old pulley and transfer it to the new power steering pump because almost every time you go to do one of these, you're gonna notice from aftermarket or Ford, they only come like this. It's a bare pump ready for all your different fittings and of course your pulley. Um, so there's a few tips and tricks I can give you uh, to getting these off and getting it back on without damaging anything. Uh, let's get over to the bench and let's get started. All right, now before we begin, I want to clarify this procedure only applies to the Ford C3 pumps that like you see here. They're a smaller design and there's no reservoir attached to the backside. On the C2 pumps, there is reservoir attached to the backside. That is a different style pump and they're removed a little bit differently. Uh, so we're just concentrating on the Ford C3 pumps as you see here. Now, once your power steering pump is out of the vehicle, high pressure line removed, go ahead and put it into the vise with the ears right here, just above uh, the vise jaw, and then we'll just tighten it down just enough to hold it for us in place. Now, there's one thing I want to show you before I pull this off of here, and that is the shaft end play, okay? This right here is perfectly normal. It's a little excessive. It's on the borderline of being excessive, but all power steering pumps, you know, GMs, whatever, they're gonna have end play like this, okay? So don't change your power steering pump just based solely on end play. This is perfectly normal. It's not gonna, not gonna cause any issues, okay? Now we're gonna use a couple different special tools to remove the pulley and press it back onto the new pump. This kit right here is the one you wanna get it's from El Cheapo. I'll link to it down below. It's a very cheap kit. It works really, really, really well. And we're only gonna use a few different pieces from it and it'll handle just about every one of these C3 pumps that are out there. The pieces we're gonna use from it is the actual nut right here. We're going to use the collars, of course. And then we're also gonna use this one little threaded piece right here. And that's going to go into the center of the pump and allow everything else to attach to it. Now there's one note here, and this is why I learned throughout the years, is these collars on here, you know, they are different. You can see different design, different sizes, okay? So keep them together on the right side. Um, but on, was it, the, the Ford Taurus 24-valve dock engines? And I think the Escapes, same thing, 3.0, 24-valve dock engines, I had to actually shine, well, grind down uh, the one side so it actually fit in there. On those, for some reason, the groove right here where it slides into uh, is extra small. Uh, so I had to grind it down a little bit to uh, you know, make the profile a little smaller on there to hook into those. Besides that, these will work stock out of the box on just about every other C3 pump out there. It's just a pulley design uh, difference. Now going back together, we're gonna use a nice high quality installer because if you get a cheap one, a lot of times this small little shaft right here that threads into there is gonna break off when you're pressing it onto there because it takes a good amount of force to press it back on. Um, so what you want to do is get a good quality one like this one from OTC. Again, I'll link to everything down below for you guys. And off we go. Now the very first thing you want to do is spray some rust penetrant down into the bore here, WD-40, whatever, and inspect the threads inside of here, make sure they're not too bad. I've never seen one that was so far gone that I couldn't thread this uh, piece into there. So once they're you know, lubricated and cleaned out in there a little bit. We'll go ahead and we'll start installing the different pieces to press this thing off of here. So we'll go ahead and put that one on there all the way down, tighten it by hand just enough. And then we're going to install the actual press shaft on here and the nut, okay? Make sure that you can go all the way down, okay? So make sure this part's out of the way. All the way down, again, take a, what is this one? 
this is a half just snug it enough okay and then you can bring this part down and we're gonna bring this all the way down so we can seat our collars okay and we get a grip in this this groove right here now again we're gonna use the side of the collars uh, that has a smaller inside diameter here you can see it inside of there not this big side I've never used that side so we'll go like that and we'll make sure that it's in the groove down here both sides okay just like so and then we'll put the sleeve over it and while you're holding that whole contraption you're simply gonna um, loosen this part right here and that'll bring it up and that'll pull tension on these and keep them in place uh, while we pull it off now at this point it's ready to press off of there this right here we're simply going to turn it uh, to the left counterclockwise and we'll pull up and force off of the shaft and unpress or press off uh, the pulley on here now this is a 13 16 and you can use you know you're supposed to use hand tools on here crank 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 and pull it off i've always used an impact on here we're pressing off the shaft and pulling okay and there's never a problem um the one thing you still want to do though is use something like this a brass drift something like that and we're going to put it in one of these spokes on here we're going to pull all the way to the left and hold it and then we'll simply press off here we go You can see it takes quite a bit of force to get these off of here. out of here get these out of here and it comes right off so we're going to clean this up and we're going to transfer it to the new pump next we're going to put the new pump into the vise same as before and we're going to inspect the threads on the inside there make sure they're good to go they should be at this point being a reman and we're also going to take a little grease and grease the shaft on here this helps in aiding the pressing on of the pulley because it is a nice tight fit you don't want it to cock in there and start to bind on there now this pulley like I said, it presses on there very, very tight, and the threads inside of here on the, on the C3 pumps are only M8 by 1.25. So it's a very small thread on there, and over time, a lot of these uh, installers, they break. So an old guy told me a long time ago uh, to actually take the pulley and grind out the inside just a little bit, take a little bit of the material away with a little sanding disc, something like this and that will help make sure that tool does not break. Um, I prefer not to do that. Uh, I may do it just a little bit on there, uh, depending, get a little corrosion out of there and stuff like that. But besides that, we'll take uh, the pulley cleaned up and press it onto there. All right, take your pulley, try to get it on there nice and square the best you can. I'll give it a little love tap with the one pound hammer, just a little bit. And then we can go ahead and get this thing threaded in there. Now, same thing as before, you want to get this piece out of the way uh, so you can fully thread in uh, the pressing shaft on here. The forcing screw. So we'll go ahead and get that fully tightened down. See, we got to back it off even more. You want to get it fully in there uh, so it has its grip on there. And then we'll just snug it once again and then we'll take this part right here 
and we'll bring it down. Now this thing will not only straighten the pulley uh, so it presses on there nice and true, uh, but also has a bearing inside of here. Uh, so it really helps uh, press it on there without binding. Now at first on here, before I put the brass drift in there, I like to get it started. And this will get it onto the pump shaft, you know, I don't know, eighth, three sixteenths or so, and it will get it on there nice and true. Now most of these, you'll be able to hold it like this just by hand until it gets about halfway on, then it's just too much, okay? So at first we'll do it just like this and then we'll get this in there whatever spoke works best for you and then we'll simply continue this one for sure I use hand tool only 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 and it doesn't take that long you see I'm not stressing too much here and it's going right on now what's nice about this is with this tool and the flat bottom on it it will literally flush out the pulley to the pump shaft and it'll tell you when it's done you won't be able to turn no more like so right there dead stop at this point we're simply going to loosen this okay just get it nice and loose here we go let me get together nine, or nine sixteenths and loosen that. Let me get this installer out of here. And you'll see, as a post check, you'll see uh, that the pulley and the shaft are nice and flush with each other. Check this out. See, they're all gonna have M play. New, old, reman, it doesn't matter, they're all gonna have it. It's it's perfectly normal, you know. But yeah, that's how you install uh, these pulleys. You have to press them off and press them back on. The only exception here is I think on the explorers only, 4.0 explorers, uh, they have three bolts, three 10 mil bolts. It's the greatest idea in the world. And it works so well, they never come apart. I don't know why all these other ones have to be pressed on. Uh, but you'll find these more common uh, than the bolt-on style. And that's how you do it. So that's it for now. I'm going to get this thing installed. It's late enough here. I want to get home. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you fix your Ford yourself. I'll see you next time, guys.